Okay, hello guys. I hope you can hear me clearly. And as we admit more people, I want to thank you for your continued support, even as we admit more people uh, to the Ubercoin Trading Masterclass. We thank you. Um, yesterday we had a bit of a problem. We experienced a blackout, so we never managed to join you people yesterday. But we here we are in Bangor. It's Friday. We get to do this once more, and I am thankful thankful because you know we have had an amazing week and everything that we have learned i hope you have been taking note of everything because i keep on telling you the shortest pencil is longer than the longest memory and the only way for you to understand what we have been uh, going through with you is for you to write it down and so that you can have questions to uh, ask and forward to us nevertheless today we are having a question and answer session with our teacher miss susan and of course uh, miss susan has how are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. So you, we are back and I hope that you're excited to get back and do this with us once more. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm very excited and thank you so much for having us. Okay, all right. So we want to just do this right away so that even as we admit more people, as we wait for more people to join us, I hope they will catch up with what will be going on. And so I don't want to have any conversation with people. We will have a conversation later on after Miss Susan has presented her um, questions and answers. And meanwhile, you can be writing your questions. You can actually be forwarding to her on the chat room and definitely she will cover uh, more questions as you present to, uh, them to us. So Miss Susan, take it away from here. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. We are very excited to have you. And we are very excited that you are joining us every day in your, uh, for your continued support. We really appreciate you. And we, as we continue telling you that uh, you should also bring your friends in the session so that they can also learn about Ubercoin and how to trade Ubercoin. I have received a lot of calls for people who are interested in joining the sessions. And for Unfortunately, today they were not available, but I'm very sure that they will be joining us tomorrow because yesterday I think uh, caused a little hiccup on uh, because we had power blackout. But I thank God that we have power back here. And uh, as we have been saying, uh, we learn how to trade. We want you to know about your Ubercoin. We want you to know how to make profit with Ubercoin. And uh, I I, I usually like to start with an introduction of Ubercoin for those people who do not have an idea what Ubercoin is or for people who have just uh, will be joining us because we usually like record these uh, these sessions for people who are new they can get uh, to know what Ubercoin is and what it stands for. So to start with we know very well that Ubercoin is a cryptocurrency and it is built on blockchain technology and when when Ubercoin was built, we had a mind of facilitating global health here in Kenya and also in Africa. And Ubercoin has two major functions as a cryptocurrency. And one, the first function is it acts as a commodity for a commodity function, and the number two function is the utility function. In its a uh, commodity function, Ubercoin is available in different markets where it is, it is traded as a commodity for profit. When we say different markets, we mean the exchanges, and we have listed Ubricon in different exchanges. We have Phoenix Box, we have Vita Flyer, we have Bitex Live, and as recently we have seen, we have Bamboo Relay. And in all these uh, markets, Ubricon usually trade as a commodity, and it is traded, you get profit for trading the Ubricon itself. Then on, in its utility function, which is the second function of Ubricon, Ubricon will be used to pay for value created in the past. When we say about value, you created in the past we mean that for goods and services like when you are paying for something that you you want to buy you are you are paying for the value that is in that commodity that was created in the past so ubricoin will be used uh, to pay for value created in the past in commodities and ubricoin will be used to support ubrica uh, health care projects and uh, it will be used in the ubrica ecosystem as a mode of payment for goods and services we know that we want to build healthcare in kenya and we want to get into a level where we can actually pay uh, goods and services using ubricoin in the uh, ubrica ecosystem and to support healthcare, Ubercoin has three great, great major opportunities 
in healthcare itself. And the first opportunity is to provide realized and physical access in healthcare in here in, in Africa. And num the number two opportunity is to improve the quality of healthcare in Africa. And number three opportunity, opportunity is to lower the high cost of healthcare in Africa. And to seize all these opportunities, Ubricoin support four major projects in Ubrica. Uh, and uh, in the Ubrica project, Ubrica has set aside Ubricoins for each of these projects. And the first project is Sokojanja, and Sokojanja is our online retail uh, retail store where we allow people who are Kenyans and Africans who have local products that they can display uh, in that Soko, Soko Janja in the online store where they can display them and get an international market uh, as well as local market because we know that people are poor because they cannot sell what they produce but if at all we find a market for their product they can be able to get money in their pocket and at the end of the day they can actually go to the hospital and pay for the health care that they acquire in the hospitals so we have we have created Soko Janja Soko Janja is already running and uh, you should call us if at all you have a product so that we can list you on Soko Janja and we help you to sell what you produce. Then number two project is Ubrica Retail Clinical Center and the Ubrica Retail Clinical Center is composed of three major things. Number one, it's composed of a product value addition center. Number two is composed of a retail store and a clinic. The reason why we put all these three things together is because we realized that uh, people usually uh, have uh, make a choice whether to go to the market or to go to the hospital. But if at all we put a clinic and a market in the same place, they do not have to choose whether to go to the market or whether to go to uh, to the clinic. They can go to the market and at the same time go to the to the clinic. They can actually sell their product and produce in the retail store. And at the same time, they can also go to the clinic. The product value addition center. We made. Uh, we want to make product value addition and addition center because we have realized that the product that we sell here in Kenya are very poor of very poor quality. But if at all we had a way of adding value to this product, they can actually earn us more and also they can also find market uh, our, a huge market in, for that in that case so we create Ubrica retail clinical centers and we set aside some UBN to support that project the third project is Ubrica science and technology parks which are built adjacent to each university we find that most of the time when people go to the university and they for example if a course is four years if at all you are doing some research in your four-year course you do not get a chance to complete it because if there's uh, the academic years end you cannot continue with that project because you're out of the school but if at all we had science and technology parts adjacent to the university if a student had a major uh, research that they were doing, they can actually go to the science and technology park and they commercialize their product so that we, we combine the knowledge. You find the knowledge that is in the university can actually be found in our market, not only uh, to find products that are very poor, of very poor quality, and we have people doing research in our, in, in our university. So we want to bridge that gap between the university and the villages or the university and our common markets so that the knowledge that is found in the in the university can translate to whatever is found in the market so that is why we propose to build Ubrica science and technology parks adjacent to each university to make sure that the knowledge travels to where it's supposed to be then the fourth project is biomedical industry city and this will be is, will be built to facilitate local manufacturing of biomedical products we know that uh, most of the product that biomedical product that we use here in kenya are or imported and we know that when we import products they're usually very expensive especially biomedical products but if at all we could uh, use the local knowledge and the local product that we have here in Kenya to make our own biomedical product products the biomedical products will be very cheap hence making sure that the, the high cost of care is reduced and we can now afford the care that is offered here in Kenya a care that is of high quality because we have already come 
combine the knowledge in the university with that in the health centers. And we can actually have places to go to the hospitals too, because we have already built the Ubrica retail clinical centers. And we can also sell our products. We can also go to the hospital and pay the bill because we have money in our pockets from selling our products in Sokojanja. So basically that is the Ubrica project and how Ubricoin is or will help in developing uh, the, the health sector in Kenya and in Africa at large. And maybe to mention all, all to, uh, uh, to put more emphasis on the, on the uh, commodity aspect of Ubricoin, we, I want to tell you that when we created Ubricoin, we created 20 billion Ubricoin. And in this 20 billion Ubricoin, we set aside 17% of the 20 billion to go for to act as the commodity function of Ubricoin. And when I say commodity function is the, the Ubricoin that are, are trading in the market. And those Ubricoin are the one that we are telling you to go to the market, get your portion now before the price goes up and let us make sure that the price goes up. When the commodity function uh, uh, succeed, like if the, uh, the commodity function of Ubricoin succeed, that is when we can continue to the second function of Ubricoin, the utility function. Because we cannot use the Ubricoin as a utility function, if at all, the commodity function part of it is not working. The commodity function uh, part of it makes sure that Ubricoin has the right price. The, the right price that if at all, for example, you as a, a seller in the market or in Sokojanja, you are ready to be paid using Ubricoin uh, for your product. If you list something on, in Sokojanja, you will only allow me to pay using Ubricoin if that Ubricoin has a price. But if, if it doesn't have a price, there is no way you are going to, uh, to allow me to pay with Ubricoin. That is why I'm saying the commodity function of Ubricoin is very important. And this commodity function is usually activated by many if, if at all we have so many people in the market because and that is de uh, dependent on uh, the community awareness so that is where we're encouraging everyone to go to the market and also to bring their friends because if at all we have so many people in the market holding ubricoin and trading ubricoin it means that the price of ubricoin the demand of ubricoin will be high high hence taking the price of ubricoin even higher so today i i want us to cover q and a session but before then i'll share my screen I want to show you something very interesting that I saw today in um, I, I saw today in uh, where, when I was just going through the news and I found out uh, I saw this Bitcoin news breaking news I search 24/7 it says Bitcoin moves for 400 million dollars for just 2.5 dollars in fees like this person moved 400 million dollars and paid 2.5 dollars as the transaction fee this is very unbelievable like if at all you can move this much money and pay this much uh, this little to move that amount of money this is the power of blockchain this is the power of cryptocurrencies that you do not really need to pay a lot to move uh, to move a lot of money uh, what you pay is very less compared to the traditional way of moving money. I'm very sure for those who have moved a lot of money can bear me witness that to move money is very expensive and it's your money. You're not supposed to pay for moving the money because it's yours. You worked hard for it. So blockchain technology and cryptocurrency, they have brought uh, these uh, liberation from uh, what you call maybe uh, the banks because now you do not have to use a third party uh, for for you to transfer money you can do it yourself and you can pay very few uh, a few amount of uh, of cash to pay to pay for transaction costs so i just wanted you to see that that because it was very amazing when i came across it 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 was a very amazing so that is the power of cryptocurrencies and i want you to embrace that ubricoin will be very powerful in a few years or in a few months to come and uh, in our Q and A sessions. I am going to uh, the first question. These were questions that have been asked by people. I, the first question is, which wallet can I connect with Bamboo Relay? Someone asked me if they can connect their Coinomi wallet with Bamboo Relay, and I want us to go to that market because I want to show you which 
uh, wallets you can actually connect with the Bamboo Relay. This is Bamboo Relay Exchange. I had opened it earlier. So I'll go to my profile because this is where you get to connect uh, your wallet with the exchange and from there i'm going to click on this change and for those who have not connected any wallet here it will say uh connect uh connect wallet so i'm going to click on change and these are the uh, the wallets that can connect with meta oh, sorry with bamboo relay so you cannot use Coinomi wallet to connect to bamboo relay mostly is because bamboo relay usually connect with uh, uh, with wallets that are desktop wallets, all of these are desktop wallets, and that is why they can connect uh, with Bamboo Relay. So these are the wallets that you can connect with Bamboo Relay, and they're very easy to install, especially MetaMask Wallet. MetaMask Wallet, what you just need to do is go to your browser, search for MetaMask Wallet, and then create a new wallet, and then it's going to be installed, and then you will add it as an extension on this side. So I had another question relating to this how do i make uh, my ubn visible in metamask wallet i have sent coins in the metamask wallet but they are not visible so what i'm going to do i'm going to to open my metamask wallet it is right here I just click on it and then it's going to open uh, this page. Uh, this is my wallet and from there I can click on these three lines to see the coins that I have in this in my wallet and these are the coins that I have. But if at all, for example, here I have my UBN. If at all you do not see your UBN here, what you need to do, because such wallets, they are not the same as maybe Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet, when you send UBN, it automatically reflects uh, in, in the in the in the wallet but for this one you have to add the token so you're going to click on add token below here when you click on it it's going to bring you here where you can search tokens or custom token such tokens they are, are the most popular tokens that are listed here so you if I search UBN here we don't find UBN we don't find a lot of coins here because you have to be uh, registered with this uh, metamask wallet but for us what you do you have an option to custom to custom a token so that's what you're going to click you click on custom token and in this custom token what you need to do here it's asking for token contact address then token symbol and then decimal of precision so uh, to get token contract token contract address you are going to go to either scan either scan as i said earlier it is a, 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 a brow an explorer for uh coins or tokens built on ethereum so if this is the public ledger for ethereum if you want to see anything that has been happening with any coin that is under ethereum such as you coin you come to either scan.io and then you search for the coin that you want to look out to that is maybe now you we want to look at ubn so you just search on ubn here but i had already opened this page so what we are going to do you can see the details of ubn and if at all you are asked any details of UBN, you can just come to these uh, to either scon.io and you can find everything here. So you can see here we have contract, we have decimal is 18, official site and social profiles. So what we are being asked in MetaMask is this address. This is the contract address. When we made Ubricoin, this is the address that we, we made Ubricoin with. And any time that anyone asks you the contract address, you just come to either scan.io and then you take this. And we have an option of copy here. So you just click on here and the, uh, the address will be copied. You go back to your MetaMask wallet. I know that it has uh, moved from where we are. So you just come down here click on add token then custom token then you uh, you paste i had already i had already copied that address from either scan so you just paste it here and then it will fill the token symbol and decimal of precision mine is not filling because i have already i already token has already been added because i have already added my token but that is how you you add your your coin in metamask wallet if at all you're not sure here you can write the symbol for ubn is Ubricoin is UBN and then the decimal precision is 18. When we talk about decimal precision, it is um, 
it is how how can you like um the decimal precision is the number of decimals that you frequent can divide, be divided to like we can have one over 18 of a Yubi coin. When the price of Yubi coin goes very high and you cannot actually, because there are some people maybe who cannot afford one Yubi coin because it will be very pricey, you can divide a Yubi, one Yubi coin into one over 18 days or you can do it 18 decimal to get one over 18 of a Yubi coin. So that is where we have decimal of precision. This is the number of uh, the, a fraction of Yubi coin you can actually get. You can actually get a fraction of one over 18 over Yubi coin. That is something that can actually be sent. So um, then you are going to, to click on next and your, your coin will be added to MetaMask wallet. So I hope uh, uh, whoever asked me that question, now they can be able to, um, to go ahead and add your coin to MetaMask wallet. Then the other question was, where do I buy it to go to the market? This is a question that I was asked and I remember we have covered this before, where to buy it from. And to buy your ETH, what you want to do, you go to your browser, you, you search for uh, localcryptos.com. We say localcryptos.com is a website, uh, localcryptos.com, is a website where people, it's a market for, for ETH, where people are selling and buying ETH for, for cash, for your local currency. If at all you're using Kenya shillings, this is a market for you. It is peer-to-peer, -peer, meaning that there is no middleman between uh, the seller and the buyer. The only thing that is between you is the system itself, and that is the website. This is the local crypto system where you do not need to trust the person who is selling you uh, uh, you is because localcryptos.com is built on blockchain, meaning that it is a very secure place for you to even acquire the ETH from a person you do not know. Yesterday, I received, uh, I received a, uh, a text from someone who wanted to buy UBN from me, and I, direct them to, I directed them to the market because that person did not trust me and I, never, I did not trust them. So a website like this or an exchange is the better place for you to be because when you're dealing with people, you're not sure if that person is rigid or because we have also seen uh, people uh, people pretending to be other people in Telegram group and asking uh, other people to send them coins and at the end of the day they don't pay them. So if at all you don't trust anyone, so this is the, uh, the best places to actually buy coins. If you don't have a person that you can really trust buying your ETH or your Ubi coin, you can just go to the market or you can direct a person to the market. Just tell them to go to the market because they don't have to trust anyone in the market. They just buy and their coins will get to their wallet. So this is a platform where you can comfortably buy, you, uh, you comfortably buy it with cash from. So what you need to do here, you just click on, on browse. When you click on browse, it's going to take you to this page where we have sellers and buyers. And here you want to choose the country that you want to buy from, or you can choose the payment method. Usually we, we prefer using M-Pesa. And when you search for M-Pesa, it is going to take you, it, it brings you all the people who are selling is for M or using and you are going to pay them with uh, M-Pesa. So what you do when you get here, you just click on buy and they have up upgraded this thing. Uh, you, you just click on buy. When you click on buy, you're going to set uh, the amount of uh, ETH you want to buy. Uh, maybe you want to spend maybe 50,000 Kenya shillings. Uh, remember that uh, you, you check what you're using. We're using here Kenya shillings and that will give you 2.143 ETH. Uh, then you send a message to this person. Then you're going to converse with the person and they're going to send the ETH to the system, which is what we call an escrow. You can only pay when the ETH is sent to the escrow. So that is basically how to buy ETH from localcryptos.com. So that is where you buy um, ETH. Then the next question was, uh, what happens if I bought the wrong coins, e.g. I bought BTC instead of UBN? This is was, was a question. I think someone made a mistake. They went to the market and they bought the wrong coin. And that is why I insist that 
make sure that you are in the right market when you want to buy. So what we, what happened is, uh, I'll just show you, let me just search for uh, either, uh, either flyer. I'll search for either flyer etherflyer.com because this is the exchange that most of the time when you open the exchange they have a default coin that is um, in the market. I'll show you what I mean by that. So we'll go to etherflyer exchange and I will show you. So you want to make sure that wherever you are buying a coin make sure that you're in the right market. Make sure that you're in the right market because if you buy the wrong coin okay it's possible to get back to to get back your ETH, but it will cost you, you will lose some ETH, so we don't want you to buy the wrong coin. If you check here, this is how you tell in which market you are in. So we have Tcash ETH market. This is Tcash ETH market. If I opened this market and then went straight ahead and bought, or thinking that I'm buying UBN, I'll get Tcash. I'll, I'll sell my ETH and get Tcash. So you want to make sure that you are not in the wrong market here, that really, because this is the default, um, this is the default market for uh, the flyer. So you want to make sure that you change these to Ubricoin. You want to make sure that you change these to Ubricoin so that you can get the right coin. But in case that you bought uh, some Tcash, what you need to do to get back your ETH, because this is the market for Tcash, but remember they are selling Tcash and buying Tcash. So you can, if you, you bought Tcash, you can just go to the same market and sell the Tcash, okay? So that is how you, if, if you bought the wrong coin, make sure that you go back to the market that you bought from and then sell the Tcash and uh, sell the coin that you bought and then you buy the one that you intended to buy. You go to the markets that you intended to go to. Then uh, the, the, I think the last question is, how long do I have to wait until the price of UBN gets to $1? This is a question that I've been asked, asked before. How long will it take for us to get to this price? What I can tell you uh, is that do not be confused by anyone. There, we cannot actually put a date to the price of the Ubricoin. At a certain time, we say that this, is, this will be the price. The only thing we can do is to, to predict, like we say, uh, maybe, in, in next month, we might get $1. And that prediction may come from what we are seeing, we are actually seeing in the market because if at all, uh, what is uh, what we is happening in the market is that so many people are buying Ubicoin. We definitely know that the Ubicoin will rise in price. So we can say for sure that Ubicoin price will go up, but we cannot set a, set a date and say at, uh, on this date, the Ubicoin price will be $1 or it will be $2. The only thing that we can say the price of Ubicoin will rise and it's true because we see what is happening in the market and we can predict what, is, uh, what will be there uh, from what is happening today. And I also want to assure you that we are doing a lot of campaigns to make sure that the Ubricoin price is going up. So you can, re be rest you can rest assured that your coin will def definitely rise in price in future or in the near future. And, and I want you to know that uh, if, if at all you get a lot of Ubricoins today, and we have seen that from the market, when we started these these training sessions, the Ubricoin was going for very, uh, very little amount compared to what we have now. The price has actually risen in uh, the rising. And if we say, uh, if we said in uh, when we were beginning, because every time we are creating awareness, the price of Ubricoin will continue going up. So uh, we know that uh, Ubricoin price will go up, and when we actually start. Uh, doing the project because what Ubricoin stands for is what is very important. If you go out there and uh, find coins that do not stand for anything, uh, kindly really don't buy those coins because what, after all, it's what the coin stands for. That is what makes people buy the coin. If, for now, we know that Ubricoin is after promoting global health and facilitating global health. So that is our, what Ubricoin is after, and that is why, why it, it makes it a very, a very great investment for everyone. So thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for, uh, because I know that you are going to the market and take uh, buy a lot of more coins. So continue supporting Ubricoin, and let us
uh, make sure that the Ubu coin get to that one dollar. Thank you so much. I'll take this back to Sporastica. Oh, thank you very much, Ms. Susan. That was a wonderful presentation. The question and answer has just gone very well. And we are appreciative of your time, everybody who joined us today. I see we were about eight participants, and that is amazing, uh, considering it's a Friday. You know what, what happens on Fridays. Most people want to just relax and have a good time. But you know the best thing for you to do is to have a good time when knowing what the future holds. And what we tell you each and every single day is that the future of um, your future also is dependent on, on what you know about digital money and not just any other digital money as miss susan has said that you're not just looking for a digital currency that doesn't have that doesn't have anything that it stands for definitely you want a coin that has something and this particular coin the ubn stands for held it looks for you it looks for an opportunity for you where uh, in 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 which way you can find wealth, wellness, and well-being. And so for that reason, even as Ms. Susan says, I want to support her that we are doing as much as we can, uh, increasing the campaign so that we can see Ubricoin has gone to the next level. And even uh, more than that, we want to increase the UBN holders. Because if you get, if you visit either scan.io, you'll notice that we only have 69,644 addresses. And that is just a small, uh, we still want more holders. Does. We don't want, we want to hit even a, a hundred thousand mark uh, before the end of June. So we want to do more. We also want to increase those transfers. As you can see, there's about 158,930 transfers. We want to do more for the Ubercoin because we're saying that for us to benefit uh, greatly with the Ubercoin, the only way for us to do this is definitely by supporting it. And so I want to appreciate every participant. Uh, that is Madam Ruth Owino. Thank you very much. Uh, Job Chege, Daniel, Jessica, Chiza, Shiko, and of course, Madam Beatrice Marango. I see you have joined us just recently. So I want to give uh, any of the participants uh, just some time. If you have any questions or you have a comment to say, uh, you're still welcome as we will, uh, because we have some time. I think we have five minutes. So feel free to bring in your comments. Or maybe I can uh, pinpoint a person. Let me talk to um, Madam Beatrice Marango. How are you doing this afternoon? Hi, Scholar. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, good morning. Yeah, I'm at work and I, I was in the middle of doing something when the, uh, the class started. But all in all, I just want to say that we are very grateful for the good work you guys are doing. Yeah. And uh, you, you keep encouraging us to talk to more people. But uh, um, we are having challenge. We are having challenge because, because people are still not completely adapting the cryptocurrency yet. But we are not giving up. So as you are not giving up on us, please, we are, we are not giving up on ourselves. So we still continue to talk to more people. Yeah. We are also we are also learning and going back to the clips and listening again and now we i'm teaching uh, i'm having my own <laughs> i have as basic as i know and uh, uh, the questions are, are coming to me i'm still um uh, teaching and uh, some people are, are, still, are buying so i'm trusting and hoping by june uh, we will have more uh, more people who will be uh, the, the the cryptos holders. So okay. thank you very much. Uh, God bless you and keep uh, keep up the good keep up the good work. All right. Thank you very much, Madam Beatrice. We appreciate uh, your massive support. Uh, it means a lot to us. Thank you so much. So I think I could talk to one more person. Um, let me talk to Chiza. Chiza, how are you doing? I'm well, uh, scholar. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the class is uh, interesting. Yeah. And, uh, we are learning new things every day. Okay. And uh, I think uh, my, my comment would be if we can actually get um, young Turks who are techie savvy. Okay. Uh, it would actually also take us very far. Yeah. Because it, this would require people who have also ample time. Yeah people who are, uh, are very IT friendly and uh, who would have time to always navigate through all these screens and websites and what have you. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And maybe what you could do is that if you have a, a nephew or a cousin, particularly now that there are people are at home, mm-hmm. you find one or a few of your nephews or your cousins or your nieces and you ask them to join the class. They, they learn and you can, you can even, even if you give them a thousand shillings to, to start trading and to start buying and eventually they can do it for themselves and they can even buy for you. That, that's what I, I'm thinking, that we need to, to get to a level where we know what we are doing, we know how to do it, we can show others how we can do it. Yeah. But some, some when you actually ask them to be the ones to sit down and navigate this, it may be a tall order. But that doesn't mean that you can't refer someone else who can actually join in and you support them. Because some of these young people, they require very little support. Yeah. And it might actually become a career for them. Totally. Yeah, that's my comment. Okay, thank you very much for your comment, Ms. Uh, Mr. Chiza. We'll look into that, and I, of course, we're going to consider everything because, of course, this is the this is what we need for us to boost the Ubri coin because the more people we have uh, f- doing the trading and engaging with the Ubri coin, seeing how it's doing in the market, I think this is what is going to take the Ubri coin to the next level. Um, so I want to just bring the show to an end because I see we only have about one minute to go and so I want to just be thankful for everybody for showing up even this whole week we have had an amazing show we have had um, uh, we have learned a lot I, I, I must say because we had the trading sessions we had even uh, learn, we also learned a new exchange which is Bamboo Relay and Ms. Susan has also tackled a question on that and also the questions and answer session has also been amazing so we would just want to thank everybody including our teacher Ms. Susan for you know showing up every day it's not easy we know that uh for us we have to do this and we must uh take this to the next level and every sacrifice that you make uh, every comment that you make is definitely appreciated so once again um thank you very much guys for showing up we get to do this once more uh on monday at exactly 3 p.m east africa time so let's keep going let's keep the ubn going even uh through the weekend throughout the weekend let's boost the price let's boost the holders let's get get more transfers and definitely Ubercoin is going to come back to us with uh, wealth, wellness and well-being. So it's goodbye for now and we'll see you on Monday. Thank you so much for showing.